in um, those two games especially. But next up, we got Tyrant coming from SoCal. And I mean, another West Coast versus East Coast showdown. That's right, man. A tyrant, again, we talked a lot about Brawl during our commentary set. Guys, history that goes all the way back to Brawl. And if not, if I'm not mistaken, we might have put a little melee too. Not exactly sure. But here we are, man. The buzz. Rosalina extraordinaire for Smash 4. Now turn more of an Olimar main once more. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Speaking of Brawl vets, the buzz was two. a monster yes. in Brawl. And he was definitely the best Olimar in Brawl. Three. I, yeah, yeah, he was definitely yeah, the best. At, yeah, at, yeah, at the end. At the at end, the end yeah. I was told that he was the best. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, the buzz is uh, very pleased that Olimar is good in this game. <laughs> I uh, was talking to him a little bit, oh, and God. yeah, he, he loves the character, and he is just so good at playing these zoning type characters. So I, you guys have already seen it. I've been asking, I've been interviewing players and asking them like, who do you put in your top five player wise? And uh, the buzz's name got dropped quite a bit. So he's cool. very, very good. Okay. All right, well, the Buzz certainly the player to watch out for here this week, unless he was going to bring to the table. Now we, yeah, the Buzz is 60 at this time. Six, six number six seed, uh, very high seeding. If you're a top eight seed, you are. That's a very, very high seed at this tournament. Oh God, let me take a gander at this real quick. The Buzz, the Buzz. Oh, I'm going to order. I'm going to order. Second at Let's Make Moves. Yep. Uh, fifth at Smash Conference United. And third at the NYXL event. It was a little pop-up event that a lot of people might not know about, but he shouts my man. Toronto Joe for helping put that wonderful event on it. T Joe. T O Joe. Also, make sure you guys be on the lookout for Gamble 2019. Oh, yes, you that got announced. Summer. Let's go, now, Canada. You know, you know Gamble kicks off the Summer Smash, and nobody can kick it off quite like how Get On My Level does. Oh, yeah. Very amazing event if you haven't been there. And, like, it's cool to check out Canada, too. Yep. So, it, it's just overall just amazing event, amazing scene. Like, the the, can the Canadian scenes are just amazing. So, and they're just so friendly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. you said, it's always a good time up there. Canadian hospitality, man. I'm definitely a, a Canadian enthusiast, all right? And I don't I don't put that together very often. I'm very much into the idea of going to Canada a lot more. The water drink, both the air smells good out there. All right, yep. the food is rich, too, man. Oh, yeah, the food is amazing up there. there. Ain't no GMOs out there, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. Those dang GMOs. Oh, man. Okay, um, Tyrant, though, playing, does he not play, does he play Cloud now? Uh, Tyrant, like he plays a lot of characters. It, it, he's a, it's, it's very matchup dependent. Um, uh, I know against Olimar at locals, he will go fine. Okay. Against Olimar specifically. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, it looks like the buzz is still trying to get plugged in and ready to go. His hands out. I'm not sure what's going on. But All right, the buzz. <laughs> God dang. I hate when they. I hate when they go for these long, long buttons. Get it together, man. That's the son of his life story. <laughs> Yeah, so I really like playing Olimar in Brawl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't say. Yeah, dude, sometimes I throw purple if I want to kill. And sometimes if I want to grab you, I might use blue. <laughs> Showing off the secrets. Yeah, right. Okay, we got to get our button schematic set up here. Um, yeah, we're, we're probably going to see Cloud Olimar. Um, yeah. Like I said, uh, from what I've seen in the SoCal scene, when I watched Siren play against Olimar, and he has really good Olimar practice. Um, he, there's Rich Round, yes. oh, I'm okay. Hip. Um, not de definitely not on the same level as the buzz, of course. Okay. Um, but like, cause right now it's like it's like, again kind of like the peaches where um, the best American Olimar is definitely the buzz, and the best Japanese Olimar is definitely Shutong. But who's better? Like, who's the best Olimar? And I mean, that's gonna be something that Genesis proves once again. Genesis is gonna answer so many questions. Yes, there's gonna be it's gonna answer who's better between Alan and PG. Yeah. It's gonna answer a lot of questions. You know, the, all the Mario mains are here. Well. All the used to be Mario Man. Well, yeah, there's the ones that survived. One that, one that survived the, the <laughs> Smash Ultimate Snap. You know what I'm saying? They, they erased a lot of the, mo the Mario Mains, but they're, they're, still, they're still here, though. Zenyu's still here. Damn. Um, and of course, Dark Wizzy's still. I mean, he, they won doubles last night, so you know he's looking to tear it up today in singles. Some, not, some characters got blessed from the Snap, other characters got obliterated. Yeah, some of them, got, some of them are chilling in the soul. R.I.P. Right Bayo. Yeah, man. Bayo. The clock. Cloud and Fox, not too bad. No, Mario, no, not too bad. Yeah. Like, Fox is probably, like, the most blessed one out of all of them. Yes. Like, Diddy all Kong. the other top tiers kind of got bodied. Diddy Kong Diddy got Sheik. stripped of his prowess, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sheik, oh, God, I'm glad Sheik got it. I hate Sheik, man. I'm sorry, man. I play a Link, man. I just fight against Sheik is oh, not dang, a Oh, dang, that was, like, one of your worst matrics, too. That man. is, like, the worst one. I mean, it's I like, think oh, dang, so this character does everything better than I do. That's, That's like, like that. yeah, yeah. I think, uh, what was another character? I think Mewtwo is also another really rough one. For Link. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway. We're not going to talk about my trials and oh, tribulations wow. in the Smash community. We're going to get in. I wonder if they went for a blind pick. Because these both these uh, players, they're very counterpick heavy. Yeah. And Tyrant, he does like Rob. So, like, uh, 
when when I watched him play at MSM, he would usually open up game one as Rock. Would he really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So that's, I, a, that's an interesting start. Uh, I definitely thought we were going to see all of our cloud start, okay. but maybe we're going to have a Rob Politano start. This looks like a button check. Yeah. Well, let's see what goes down here. Yeah. So I mean, Rob, we just saw Rob and. I mean, that's the, the crazy thing about Rob, too. We're going to see a bunch of different styles. We're going to see a lot of Rob in the meta, generally. This is probably one of the strongest zoners. I mean, Olimar and Rob, off the top of my head, would probably be, like, the strongest zoners in the game right now, right? Yeah, easy. Just not only based off of the projectile game, but just based off what they can do once they get the projectile. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, I would throw Politana in there if you consider a zoner. I mean, like, Nairo doesn't play her like a zoner, but the buzz might. Like, you yeah. know, see more explosive flames, see well, more auto, auto, auto reticles. Auto, so. auto reticles, yeah. Auto Reticle obviously not the strongest move in her arsenal, but definitely has a much better use in this game than it did in Smash. Oh yeah, Smash. it's so fast. There's so little end lag on it as well. Um, Baltina definitely one of those characters that kind of feels almost kind of like Wolf, where like she kind of does it all kind of thing. Like she has very little weaknesses, and she's like above average in like almost everything. Yes, yes, yes. Um, she was actually one of the few characters I once I seen the the comboing system and just how well it was easy to combo and Smash Ultimate. I was like, all right. Wait Corey, a minute. Wait Corey a minute. and Palutena, that actually might be a problem in this next game because <laughs> they were really good at comboing at very, very low percent. Yes, yes. Um, and of course, those combos don't stop even at high percent in this game for them. Hey, what's up, Kitaro? <laughs> uh, oh, always love the Goonies, man. That's right. <laughs> the Goon Squad. That's right, the Goonies. Okay, uh, let's move into what I believe is the final match of this wave. Uh, yeah, this is actually. Tyler. Yeah, this is gonna be. A, this is very. These are two very good players. Like these guys go all the way back from brawl. These guys are top players in brawl, top players in Smash Four. Yes, um, so we'll definitely see what how it pans out here in this this version of the game Ultimate Man. Dang man, we getting old. These like we are definitely getting old. <laughs> these guys playing in the third iteration. <laughs> third iteration, man. We are definitely uh. We're starting to show our age and <laughs> so are they as well, man. But you know what? So this is the game. It's always a good time. That's the That's best right. thing. That's right. Okay. So, I mean, you did talk about that combo game Palutena has. Yeah, and, and, she's, and she's showing it how well it, it can be used, especially yeah. on bigger bodies like Rob. Right oh, out yeah. the gate. See something great. Some, oh, wow. Taking a pace out of each other's book. See, Tyrus trying to give himself that overhead coverage with the up here, but only to be answered with down tilt there from the buzz. Okay, down tilt to the up tilt. No, not going to connect. Very good match out from the buzz and buffering that air dodge as well. And like you said, this damage output, man, like we, we saw the opening, the Buzz just did like 50% to this Rob. And right now, Tyron just trying to find his opening, but right now the Buzz is keeping him on the ledge, not letting him play the game right now. Not at all, man. Just shutting all opportunity off for him. There's a down throw, the old back. I like that very, very immediate directional air dodge to let the stay. Man, and this Nair is so troublesome for Tyrant to deal with, and even reflecting the top as well. And Tyrant, oh, the deep neutral air is gonna take it. Wow, the buzz only taking seven percent. That is actually ridiculous. But you know what? If you have the if you have the ability to go low and go for a KO like that, you have got to take the opportunity because Rob can very much do the same thing for you. Oh, is your control even man. synced up? Is your control Dang. even plugged in? The that damage output, he was ping-ponging him left and right on the top platform, or the only platform, and then ran right into the up air, into another up, up there. So much damage, and man, man, sometimes people will be saying the buzz is pretty defensive, and uh... I ain't seeing it. I ain't seeing it, man. You know what, though? You said new year, new game, new me, man. I'm yeah. So I'm switching things up. And it, it's funny because I thought we would see a lot more like auto reticle and explosive flame coming out from the buzz, but like pretty much the whole beginning of this game number one, we just see him going in with this neutral and really like giving Rob a hard time trying to get in the up air. Not gonna quite do it, but get, kind of gets him off. I was actually afraid that I was gonna push the buzz into the, uh, the, the yeah the stage and yeah. go for a stage fight. But he was actually able to kind of move his di go up and above. Nice, gets Ooh. the down tilt, pops him up, looking for the up air. But before he can even think about talking about up air of his own, uh, the neutral air comes out. Back from man, Tyra and the back row wow. hits that man with the yeet. Dang, man, I'm, I I think we might see another character come out here for Tyrant if if Tyrant's not able to turn up with the Rob. And right now, it just it feels like it's so hard for Tyrant to get something started. This neutral is such a huge hitbox, and he's trying to contest it, but it's just not working out. The, um, yeah, all right there, the side B, going to take it out right there. And now the Buzz at sitting at two stocks, but up an entire stock now. That's right. Using there to give him some coverage. What you doing off stage? Okay, using, actually opting to go for the down tilt. You know, and now before... With most Palutena's, when a character like uh, like a Rob or like a Pit, they're trying to recover to the corner of the stage, he'll just right. run off back here immediately. But I think he wants to be a little bit more safe here because even though he might not respect Tyrant's Rob, he respects Tyrant as a player. Yes, for sure. Tyrant very capable of making this comeback here. Okay, there's the down beat. Wow, Tyrant trying to get something started here. Oh, the ledge trap almost connects but doesn't have faith on the roll there. 
All right, Buzz, trying to get that up there, not going to connect. And, um, another thing about Palutena that is immensely buffed is a lot of her tilts are actually very strong in this game. That down tilt yeah. is such a good move. Absolutely. Uh-oh, misses the up tilt. Okay, gets back up on the ledge, but how's he going to do it? Has to go hide that time, and I like that. But he had that option scouted out. He said, touching the platform. There's a good chance I'm going to hit you with the up tilt and hit you with the up air. Right now, trying to get that grab with the auto radical pressure coming out here for the buzz. He's got the stock lead. He doesn't have to commit. The buzz trying to seal and get some more damage with this back air. Tyrant gets the top set up, but the laser not going to find his mark. The forward air does, though. Okay. Still trying to keep this corner pressure, but the buzz going to fight his way out of the corner with the back air. Is he going to try to seal out the stock? The Tyrant trying to negate the pressure of the back air to try and get to the ledge here. Okay. Oh, the back, back throw. throw. Not no. going to be enough. Doesn't get the red stuff that time, oh, but the explosive man. flame. Yep. Such a strong move. It Such is. a very like low committal move that can kill. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing about Palutena that can be so hard. And like some characters, they have to recover like that. So you kind of just like, man, it's so hard to deal with Explosive Flame as some characters' recovery. It is. Um, it just makes the recovering that much harder for my man Tyrant. Now, yeah. you mentioned the, uh, the possibility of a character switch. Rob, it looked okay. It certainly had looked much better. It was you like... expect to see a character switch. Though. I, I think so. I just feel like Tyrant didn't have many answers to Nutra Air. No, he did not. So it's like whenever they're in a close quarter situation, the buzz is just like, well, I can throw out Nutra Air. It's a very huge hitbox, and I combo off it. Like, like the move kind of had like checks on everything on the checklist. You know what I mean? Like big hitbox. If I connect it, I get damage. Like the list goes on and if on. I, if I connect it, I get another one, and then I get another one. And, and then I can I drift back one. and like make it safe on block. Like check, check, check. Go down the list. So yeah. I'm expecting a character change. Tyrant plays a lot of characters. So we'll see what he ends up going with here. It looks like it's going to be the cloud. Okay. Respectable switch. Cloud yes. still very, very scary in this iteration of Smash. Um, obviously, the limit, the biggest change was that the limit has a time. Survived right. the snap, man. So, yeah, he survived it. He, he <laughs> survived it. Uh, but I got to, you know, say Palutena, though. Her buffs are a lot stronger than Cloud's nerves. Yes. For sure. I'm going to word it that way. Palutena, very, very phenomenal. Oh, you know, you know what? Or is that what we're Okay. Uh, all right. I forgot, I forgot the stage was, was legal here. Yeah, and um, it. the thing about this stage is the buzz has to be very careful of how he teleports. Um, there's certain teleport angles that you actually will just not snap. So I'm actually surprised he left this stage open. Usually, like if you play a teleporter, you don't want you want to ban this stage. But the buzz probably just knows the angles and he's not going to go for it. He's pretty comfortable here, and he also realizes too that there is a chance that uh, you know Cloud kind of has to hug the stage too when he recovers. So he might give him the opportunity to spike a little bit easier here. And these safe back airs. Now Tyrant has something to oh, contest damn. that nature. He has the range. He's got that Buster Sword. Yes. The up air from up underneath. There's the Nair. The back hitbox at that. Okay, fans up bringing the limit a little bit too early. Doesn't quite take any punish though from it. You know, it's really hard to punish limit cross slash and hell just regular cross slash. Yeah, yeah, very Great. huge and safe move. The down air doing so much work for Tyrant here. How's he gonna seal the stock? The up tilt, not quite enough here. Dash attack doesn't hit its mark. Uh oh. Tech's on the platform, tries to reset the situation with the jab, pops him into another grab. And the few nairs the Buzz has connected uh, against the Cloud, it hasn't fully connected, but right there, that nair going to connect into the up air here. Almost another up air to follow. Okay. Back here, looking for the space. We forget that that shield is invulnerable. Ooh, the spot dodge into the jab, really good mix up coming out from Tyrant, but again, he's got to seal out the stock, the dash attack throw. Ooh, we got an off stage Cloud right now. The limit is on deck, and he has to use it to get back onto the ledge. And almost put himself in a really awkward position, too. Ended up getting ledge trunk, but. Ooh, the shield looking really small. The buzz retreating back to the ledge, trying to get that shield built back up. The up tilt reverse hit, not quite safe on block. The buzz trying to seal out this stock off stage. Yeah, that was oh. nice. I used the second hit of the up stuff, we forget that that's a thing sometimes. Okay, back throw 182%, and right now the Buzz doing a phenomenal job of not getting hit. And right now he's doing oh. everything but the forward air. Finally seals it out for Tyrant, but he took so much damage trying to seal out that stock. Yeah, he did, man. He dropped the stock, but at what oh, cost? There's man. the up air, Korean. We brought this thing back even. That's one thing I really love about the Buzz. He'll never allow the lead to run away from him too far if, if he can do something about it. Ooh, the forward air into the grab a little. Kind of like Sheik right there, the falling fair into the grab and get pretty good damage here. But and the buzz is gonna get more damage as well with these grabs and just another re-grab. He is still going to town. 61% on there the it time. Is. Here we go. Okay, gets the first hit across last. Can't quite connect any more of it though. I like that spot yeah. dodge right to the one, two, three jab. And then the empty hop right in the face of danger. This is a new tyrant right here. I don't know what the hell that Rob was doing, but I'm liking this cloud though. Yeah, the cloud definitely having those hitboxes to contest with Paul Tana. 
And I mean, maybe he does well versus other Palutena's with Rob, but you know, the Buzz, a different beast of its own. Definitely, definitely a different breed of fighter, that's for sure. So Limit gonna run out there. Oh, and I like these spot dodges coming out from Tyrant. He would even use the spot dodge instead of shielding like aerials, so he doesn't have to deal with that like block stun. Kind of almost like a parry. Oh, oh yeah. no double jump though. Uh oh, there's, there's a the forwarder. That's yep. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, not a limit strong enough in the world to save you from that. Yep, and the Buzz really showing off what Cloud is still weak at. He still has amazing hitboxes, he has amazing range, but that recovery is suspect. Yes, it's definitely suspect. Definitely under investigation, that's for sure, man. The detective agency is on it. <laughs> we gotta get the Smash Bros. Insider on that on that recovery system, man. It's suspect. Oh, yeah. There's a forward air into the dash attack. The Buzz is catching all these landings, and Nutri are gonna catch that spot dodge. And the Buzz is falling for that spot dodge, but the forward smash! The Buzz sealing it out 2-0 against Tyrant. What a read. That was a read for the ages, and even if he had Dang. burned a...